Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho. You're not like the others, no. No change in behavior. Uh, Thor, which is <clears throat> Angel's dog, and I think she's on or she was on. So we might get some feedback on this one. Okay, absolutely. Yeah, feel free to give me feedback or put it in the chat or however you want to do it. Thor. Thor is funny. You know, when I connect when I connect to his energy, I feel very like almost like champagne bubbles. Like I feel oh, very wow. e effervescent a little bit with him. Um, and I you know, obviously can see he's a husky or Malamute or something. So he's very energetic, but just like his, his energy, his soul is very bubbly and sort of like, oh, play with me. What are we doing? Oh, can I be part of that? You know, that type of energy. But I'm also hearing that because of that, Thor can kind of get himself in trouble a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. So I feel like, you know, it's almost like a kid that you say, oh, let's go do, you know, do something fun. And then they kind of take it overboard, you know, and they're just like getting too crazy. So I feel like Thor might sort of uh, suffer from that as well with sort of getting a little too involved with things. And like, if you're playing, like he might get a little rough or he might like, cause I feel like there might've been some breaking of things with him, not on purpose at all. <laughs> he's like, he's like a mush, you know, like I can just feel inside. He's like such a mush. So anything that happens, it's not on purpose. Um, I do feel like he's very protective though. So I feel like given the, the right environment, you know, he could be not aggressive, but I just feel like, protective like i want to make sure my human's okay i want to make sure that they're all right so i do see a little bit of that in him but he's like he doesn't realize he's such a big dog like you know because i feel like he could climb on your lap and he'll just be like he feels like inside he feels like he's small and he doesn't realize his size and his power as well and i think that's where the breaking things might come in like he might jump up on something and something falls over something like that not malicious but just right. You know, just like uh, exuberance, I guess, again, with the champagne bubbles. And so um, he's lovely. He's I love his energy. I love being in his energy. And he just wants to be part of the family. He wants to be doing things with everybody and never left out. There's some piece like when you leave him, like if you leave him at home, I could see where he would be freaking out. And so for this particular dog, I would say it's very important for you to say, OK, Thor, I just want to let you know I'm just going to go to the supermarket and we'll be uh -huh. back in an hour or whatever because our animals do understand they don't understand in the same way that we do but when you leave and if you don't say anything they don't know if you're gone you know for two hours or two months so it's important to let them know when you're leaving so that they can internalize it in their own way and know like hear from you when you're coming back and i feel like for thor it would be important for his human to let him know um, you know, when they're going to be coming back. So it doesn't stir up that anxiety because with that bubbly personality there can, once it gets over the top, he can get a little crazy. I feel like so it's important to, I think, sort of keep the temperature down in terms of the excitement. If you don't want like destruction and then things happening. So if you are having those type of issues, I would recommend maybe playing classical music in the home or, you know, spa music or something that's calming, to try to, you know, if he's getting a little too wound up, that would be something that I would recommend. But that does help. Um, My dog has anxieties and it does help. Oh, good. Yeah, good. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, so yeah, I hope I hope that was helpful. Angel, did you have anything? Did you hear what she said? Do you have anything to say? Did you hear what she said? Do you have anything to add? Angel Lori says, My baby, I'm here. <laughs> My yes. <laughs> I don't know if she heard what. Um... Yes, I think she did. She says, I'm here. I don't know if she did. You hear it, Angel? Um, maybe. No, the problem. Yeah. We have to rely on waiting for. Chip. Yeah. No, you ain't no psycho. You're not like the others. No. No changing behaviors. Not sure how to act around you